Hey, hey, Palmy. Rob Frampton here. Hi, my name's Tasha, and I'm here with Explosive 8 TV. I got into strong women because I used to train at a small gym next to Rob Frampton's and I used to watch the guys um, doing all the events and they just looked like they had, were having so much more fun than I was having. Ah, um, well I first saw Strongman at the age of eight years old, uh, Bill Kazmaier, Jeff Capes and John Paul on uh, BBC One at Christmas time. I was hooked, eight years old, that's what I wanted to do. The minute I, the minute I was getting you know, into it and, and, and saw it on television, I knew that it was it was kind of what I really really wanted. I grew up on a farm, like an equestrian farm, so I had lots of means to of, of lifting and shifting already. So I grew a baling hay and all the horse feed and stuff. So I was shifting and, and carrying already. So it's kind of like a, a natural sort of progression into it, really. In strong women, I've had no injuries. Um, I've had some elbow tendonitis, but that's about it. <laughs> um, injuries, okay, so I've had my fair share. I'm obviously doing uh, professional strongman for 15 years now. Um, I've pretty much um, demolished my body. Uh, a few, uh, um, I've broken both feet uh, three times. Uh, metatarsals, I'm up to about 11 metatarsals. Quad tears, hamstring tears. Uh, two bicep tears, uh, neck injury, uh, spinal injuries, like uh, I can't remember how many. Uh, but yeah, I've had my fair share of injuries, but is it worth it? Every single time. I love it. It's just, it comes with the territory. Unfortunately, if you do strongman at 100%, you're going to get injuries. It's just, it just comes with the turf. So my diet on the run-up to a competition is quite strict, usually because I'm a couple of kilos overweight. So just good healthy proteins, like skia, eggs, I don't eat meat, so corn. Um, the rest of the year round is pizza and pretty much what else I fancy. So training for me at the moment is um, still about four times a week. Um, I'm not you know, training for anything specific at the moment. Uh, I'm still trying to get over this. Um, I've had a quite bad spout of, um, or bad bout, shall I say, of uh, sciatica. So um, I'm just getting over that. But I still train four times a week. Uh, normally a push, pull, legs, and like an assistant as well, or events depending on how good the back feels. But um, yeah, break it up quite, quite moderately throughout the, uh, throughout the week. Maybe you know a, a, a Monday, Wednesday. Maybe a Friday, maybe a Saturday, and all, all, all adjusted to how busy I am in the week, really. Well, so with work, I'm quite blessed because I own a gym down in Ferrum in Hampshire, so um, I can. It goes hand in hand, so I'm constantly at the gym six days a week. So I can uh, kind of arrange my clients and my training base uh, in with my training. So if I'm not training or I'm not uh, coaching or I'm not doing programs, then I'm you know working or I'm training myself or I'm doing other things. So it goes very hand in hand. I'm quite blessed with, with my work. The strong women and strong man community is so friendly and welcoming and yeah anyone, any female wanting to start up with strong women, find a decent gym and I would say just ask the guys there for some help because training with the guys is so easy. There's nothing that a female can, can't do that a man can. <laughs>